Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I watched the Democratic debate last night at least as much as I could possibly stomach, and I was amazed at how many anti-American things were said. I remember a time when the Democrats stood for the American worker. That was the height of their platform. They wanted to uplift the American worker. That was first, and other things fell in line after that. Not this group of people. They talked about giving away more stuff to illegals, amnesty, health care, housing, you name it. Give it all away. But when they did talk about the American citizen or the American worker or what they could do, they went straight for the Second Amendment to strip our rights away of rifles. And who was the champion of this? Well, the Hispanic wannabe, Robert Francis O'Rourke, who goes by Beto O'Rourke. And this is what he said. You know, the critics call this confiscation. Are you proposing taking away their guns, and how would this work? I am, if it's a weapon that was designed to kill people on a battlefield. Beto's pulling it under 2%. He's all but washed up, but he's trying to find his way back into the limelight of the American people, and he thinks he could do this by attacking the Second Amendment. Now, I have to believe that he doesn't know the difference between an AR-15 or an AK-47. I don't think he even knows the difference between a semi-auto and a full auto rifle. I don't think he knows the difference between a, a hunting rifle and a sport rifle. I think what he's trying to do is play on the emotions of the American people and continually regurgitate this ban on sporting rifles. Now, if he were serious about this, I would say, you know, Beto, if you want to get above that 2%, which I find impossible, but you never know, a lot of wacky people out there who might support you, why don't you lead by example and take your armed security and disarm them first? And then you can talk about the American people and what you want to do. See, here's the problem. I didn't shoot anybody. I didn't create any chaos, but by me owning and you owning a rifle, you are just as bad as the people that are going up doing these shootings. That's how they're seeing it. And in their twisted and demented mind, by removing those, by making us the law-abiding citizens, well, he's talking about buyback, so maybe they'll give us 200 bucks for a high-quality AR. In their perfect world, will never happen. But by doing that, they think that's going to end crime. Now, nobody can explain how they're going to get the guns from the criminals. I don't... Hell yes, we're going to take your AR-15, your AK-47. We're not going to allow it to be used against our fellow Americans anymore. One common theme that I notice with all the people running for president on the Democratic side is that they want to chop apart the Second Amendment. They want to end the online loophole. And I bought several firearms online. I know of no loophole. It doesn't exist. Nothing more than a talking point. Same with the gun show loophole. They say, we need to end the gun show loophole. I've been to several gun shows, done many transactions. The gun show loophole doesn't exist. Everything is performed in a law-abiding manner with upstanding people. I would venture to guess not one of those people who is running for president ever has been to a gun show. I guarantee it. They want a 10-day waiting period. They want national gun registration, and they want bans. And that is the theme as they chop apart the Second Amendment. But what's interesting is they say, and not only that, but 90% of gun owners agree with us. And that the politicians are the ones getting in the way. The gun owners actually want this. I started thinking about that, and I smile when I hear that because 90%, you know, that's a large number of gun owners. I don't know of anybody who agrees with that because none of those measures would stop a criminal from getting a gun. So even if you did all of that, we would still have crime by firearm, by evil people, and most of us know that. But what's interesting is that there are some people on our side that said, well, maybe if we just give them, you know, uh, universal background checks across the board, they'll leave us alone. Or maybe if we just do this, then they, they'll leave us alone. They're not going to leave us alone. What are you saying? We don't do that ever. We need to remind our 2A brothers and sisters that we are to give no ground because it'll never be enough. 
As soon as we give a little bit, there'll be more Beto O'Rourke's coming after us saying, now we need that, and now we need that. And we got people saying, we're going to give you this without getting anything in return? No, that is to never happen if you are really a true to a supporter. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching, and you guys be safe.